Hey everybody, I'm Kelly Tovar. Cowgirl Tough has asked me to do a video about saddle fit. Well, I don't feel like I'm very qualified to do a saddle fit video because I'm certainly not an expert and I've ridden in the same type of saddle, which is a tree list for 20 plus years. But I wanted to give you an example of like why I ride Edwin in a tree list and I've recently had to switch to a tree saddle on another horse. But to kind of give you an example, like Edwin, I'm almost six foot tall, so Edwin, he's big. And his weight fluctuates a whole lot through the years, in the winters, the summers, how much he's going. So the, the tree lists always just kind of adjust, and I don't ever have to worry about it. I've won a lot on Edwin. He's never had a sore back, or I've never had any problems whatsoever. So I've been really, really pleased with it on him and every other horse that I've ridden. So as much as this is going to be about saddle fit, it's probably going to be about not getting stuck on something and learning to kind of change and go and move it. And we have to do what's best for our horse, even though sometimes it may not be the most comfortable thing for us because I do not like change. And it's just kind of the old dog, new trick type thing. And I'm not really much on that, but I'm having to learn and adjust in a new saddle. So we're going to talk a little bit about that, but I just kind of wanted to, this is the horse that runs in a treeless saddle and he's done really well in it. So this is the horse that I bought back in December and he had been a winner with um, a few other people so I knew that he could do it. It was just a matter of could we do it together. And he's the reason that I am now having to switch out of the treeless saddle to a treat saddle because um, he had some back issues and we didn't know it and he actually bucked me off in the middle of a run and uh, so we took him in and uh, they, you know, x-rayed his back, looked at it, and he did have some problems that he needed surgery and needed fixing. And it was crazy because the treeless saddle, there's no protection there where his back was so sore, he had no protection. And um, with a tree, at least my weight, if I bumped on his back, my weight, you know, wasn't hitting directly on him. And the night that he bucked me off, I'd been riding in a tree saddle, but that goes back to what I was saying about I don't like change and I'm always a little scared of change and I want to stay with what I have and what I've known for so many years. But sometimes we have to do what's best for these horses, even if it's not the most comfortable for us and we don't we don't like, you know, we don't want to do it and don't like to change because I sure don't. But we're hoping that he's 93, 94 days post-surgery. And I just got back on him the other day and he had his new saddle on and he seemed to enjoy it and like it and he wasn't aggravated with anything and he acted like a good boy. So only time will tell if the new saddle is gonna be the one for him. Um, hopefully we don't have to go through it one last time to find it out. But, uh, but uh, we will, we'll do whatever it takes to make him comfortable. But, uh, so that's Sean. I hope everybody's staying safe and happy and healthy, and um, I hope to see y'all all back on the rodeo road soon. Thanks, Cowgirl Tough.